With interstate travelling allowed recently, we spoke with a few people from different segmentation to seek their thoughts whether they would feel safe staying in hotels. Hence, we collected some information from them to find out what are their expectations from the hotel and when they will start travelling again. take temperatures when we come in and make sure that the people that come to the hotel are the people that stay not just like you know just visitors to visit like the hotel I went to Shell Petrol they will put the nozzle put things that I sanitize every how many hours or like half an hour or 50 minutes I mean like hotel also can do that my expectation will be of course there'll be proper social distancing I would like to see records of the room uh, have been disinfected. Maybe in terms of air circulation and things like that. Uh, because now it's COVID uh, pandemic, so they have to take all the foreign orders SOP. Our count of COVID-19 is dropping, so I feel like maybe end of next month, maybe? But if you're talking about internationally, I don't think it's safe yet. I think interstate is fine for right now. And if you're talking about international travel, it's probably going to be like when most countries have their travel restriction lifted. I'm actually traveling next week. So uh, I think it sh with, with proper you know, uh, SOPs and you know, with all the masks, it, it should be okay to travel. I think I would say we are good to go because it's been three months and we need to revive some economies. After the world don't have this COVID anymore, after the pandemic is over, all over the world, then I feel fine, it's safe. Lah. Mm, you know, housekeepers, they have the... They, they can um, have COVID-19 you know, it can happen. So if you were to change them to a robot that can help with um, spraying a freshener or like providing hand sanitizers and cleaning my room, I'll be much safer. Putting a service element to it as well. So providing nice packs of masks and sanitizers and that type of thing. Maybe they will providing you those food with uh, prevention uh, or, or boost your immune system, the kind of things that like might be. Say for instance, when I go into the hotel and stuff like that, um, that there's a buzzer that, uh, that when people come uh, you know, a meter too close with my phone, maybe through Bluetooth or whatever, uh, my phone and that person's phone will buzz. So just a warning that, hey, too close. Maybe the hotel could publish what is it actually doing for, for the hotel guests. Besides the normal things like, you know, providing the sanitization and all that, what else have they done? I would probably travel domestic and when, maybe um, end of December, when everything is like open up, it's school holiday. In the next few weeks, uh, when I can. I'm travelling for work next week, uh, but for holidays wise, uh, I am planning to travel uh, sometime around September with my family. This moment for me, la, myself, not to travel, to be very honest, is not to travel because we don't know like any one of us is actually the virus carrier. I only will travel when there's no case at all. All over the world they say no more case at all, then I will travel. Our survey shows that the majority are willing to travel even though Malaysia is still recovering from COVID-19. From this video, it can be a leading hint for hotels to revamp and adapt with the future target market. Do check out our page for our upcoming updates. Thanks for watching!